What is up fellow YouTubians? Welcome back to the adventure and this is Minecraft Spacecraft Episode 5. I know I haven't done one of these in such a long time guys, so make sure to like, comment, favorite and subscribe after you watch this if you did in fact enjoy it. So guys, we're back on space, uh, Spacecraft, we're back at the base, we're working on it and since the last episode I've done a little bit of tweaking to the base, I won't lie. There is some major stuff and there's some major stuff we need to do today, such as getting power functioning fully in our base. So you may see here, um, I'm gonna walk out here and I'm gonna walk back in and show you. So I've done a few changes. We have our little farm here in the front and now we have a potato farm guys. It took me forever to, you know, do a potato farm. Um, I managed to get one potato from a zombie that I killed at night and you know, I used that potato and now we have a full potato farm. We have some extra ones I think either in here or inside. But these pesky pigs and these pesky animals keep coming onto our property and they keep trying to, you know, eat all our food. And this duck slash chicken uh, mutation thing now it's just stumbling on it's just really annoying so I'm gonna have to do something about that you know what as much as I hate to do it to the poor pig over here I might have to put him into my slaughter farm you know so that I'm gonna say that for maybe a later episode so as you can see here we walk in and we have our potato crops on this side and we have our carrot crop over on this side and the sign here says Diagwit, which is Irish for hello. And we have here Mission con uh, mission Control, Commander Legacy, um, as I am the only one here. And I am the commander of this spacecraft mission until I find all my other uh, kind of space knots, I suppose, or whatever. So in here, we don't really have much done. We have our farm out here. And we have a cocoa farm set up out here. We have a lot of cocoa beans. And we're going to start making some cookies and stuff. So, guys, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and get some power to our base. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you. I've upgraded our lighting system down below. As you can see, we have a nice, just normal kind of setup here. But we go down below and, oh, it's absolutely pitch dark. I mean, it's, it's like, who turned off the lights? Oh, Okay, um, so we're going to have to stumble in here, and I'm going to show you what is going on. So we just have one torch lighting us in here. As you can see, I upgraded our lighting system. We now have electric lights, but the only thing is they need some kind of a reactor or something to, you know, fully make them work. And we have here our reactor room alpha. That's right, guys, our constructor bots. They are kind of like our nanobots or whatever that have been working on this base with me that I managed to you know, uh, get from my spacecraft. They have been assembling some amazing stuff that they found uh, from materials that they found on this planet and they've been working on a prototype nuclear reactor. So we're going to take a look at that today, guys, and we're going to, you know, get it functioning. And um, there's a lot of tasks involved with getting this functioning. And our constructor bots are a little bit lazy. I haven't seen them around lately. I don't know where they are. So we're going to, you know, pop on our radiation suit quickly. We're going to take off what we have. So we have this kind of iron suit on at the moment. And we're going to pop on our radiation suit, which is pretty cool. So let's pop this on. You know, we don't want to get all irradiated and stuff and die. That would not be good. Uh, that would just be mission over. So, okay, one, two, three, and actually, do you know what? Weapons are not a good idea to bring in here, so I'm going to leave all these behind. I'm going to leave these behind, and I'm going to leave my iron behind. I'm going to bring the pickaxe just in case we might need it, and let's go in. So, as you can see, guys, this is our nuclear reactor testing unit, and we also have it hooked up to some furnaces, so this is also going to work as a refinery. But as you can see out here, it isn't working at the moment uh you know it isn't on at all and we have no power to any of the lighting system on the base or any of the electronics except for these these are you know they have their own little power sources the constructor bots managed to do that but it was really cost ineffective for them to do it so we're going to come down here and we're going to start the reacting uh process of it and as you can see nuclear reactor control room senior staff oh oh wait where are the keys um Damn it, I forgot the keys. Uh, let, <laughs> damn, that, that's not good. Okay, uh, so we need two secret keys. The only me and, well, maybe my second in command, if I can find him, uh, him or her, uh, will be the only ones with it. So we're, we're going to need the keys first, and then we're going to need to start up the warm-up process and head down here into the core room. So let's see if we can find them, if they're in one of these chests. Uh, really, no, no, there seems to be no keys, and... Uh, any of these sh what what does those constructor bots do? Right, I haven't seen the constructor bots around this area lately, but they've been working on the crew quarters. So I'm gonna head over there and see what is going on. Um, as you can see, constructor bots at work. Uh, proper safety equipment needed. But you know what? We have our radiation suit on. Uh, that should 
thinking that's like a construction suit kind of so we're going to head in here and here you can see oh my god the, the constructor bots did such a good work on the uh on the crew quarters are really doing a good job here um they have a little bit more to go on it but they have down here they have our oh this is this is like a a lounge and wait <laughs> wait what it's constructed bots straight they're powered what they're meant to be at work I'm good. This one over here seems to be working though. He's he's a constructor bot. I am your master. H Hello, hey, constructor bot. What is your number and designation? Hmm. He seems to be in some. He seems to be in some kind of a trance here with the lava. But they've done an amazing job here. Right. Do you know what? I'm gonna deal with these uh, ro uh robots later, and they're they're you know not following my orders. I can't believe they just powered themselves. At this guy's head. He seems to power down really awkward position. So uh, maybe they they're working here in the canteen and stuff. Maybe they might uh, have left it in here. There seems to be a chest here. No. This seems to be like a rubbish bin. Um, they never would have put it here in the fridge, would they? They, oh my god, they, they put the button in the fridge, this is this is the key guys, this is the key that we're using to get into the reactor room, um, that, that's really weird, uh, I'm gonna have to have a little chat with them later, um, you know, I'm not really happy with the work that these bots are doing, so we're gonna head back over and we're gonna set up the nuclear warm up process for it, as you can see we've more going on here, but this is all top secret, and we have some robots working on our vault down below. Speaking of vault, our core reactor is going to require some diamonds. As you can see, we have a few diamonds here. So it requires four diamonds for it to work. Uh, it's, you know, it's nuclear powered, but it also requires diamonds. It's a very weird setup. I know, I know, it's not like a normal nuclear reactor. But we're going to head back in here. We have our, yeah, our radiation suit in check. And where is the button? We have the button here. So, okay, let's let's try this again. So... Let's place the button right here, and there we go. So we have more going on here, and I hope the constructor bots down here aren't as lazy as the ones back in the canteen. Uh, we're going to head up here to the control room, and we have more to expand onto. Um, this is the overall activation switch, but this is the command center, and we can just neutralize the uh, the core if we want, if there's any problems. So I'm going to, you know, open it up here. Um, it takes, you know, special passcode. It's like fingerprint recognition. For us. As you can see down here, we have uh, our nuclear stuff going on. It looks surprisingly like lava, but believe me, it's it's nuclear energy or stuff that is going on down there. So we're going to activate these, and there we go. That that should happen. That definitely should happen. And <laughs> we're going to activate them. Our monitors are still black, but they, they will come on. So that, that should uh, activate the actual heating up process of the core. And we're going to head down now to the core, and I should really lock these up. Uh, just so no one else can get in um, as I said it's fingerprint technology So, you know, I'm the only one who can actually get in here So let's let's get out of here and we're gonna head down into the core now I haven't visited the core since the constructor bots have done some work in it. So I'm gonna be very uh, pleasantly spur Oh, oh damn oh, That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a long jump. Oh um, uh, um, Okay uh, Okay, one two three Oh, okay, okay, we <laughs> we seem to be okay. We're fine. Uh, we're there. See, there. Um, there's no way back up. Uh, but I'm I'm sure there's an yeah. I'm sure there's an exit down here. So there's yeah. This seems to be the core reactor room. We're gonna. Oh wow, they did they did a really good job in here. So we're just gonna lock this door, and this means it's locked. That it's locked when the light glows up, and this piston comes out like the others. So uh, <laughs> reactor core, feed me. Diamonds only. Okay, so we need four diamonds, and once we have the diamonds down, these lights should light up, and there should be, like, a sound. So, one, two, three, four. And there we go, guys. So, our reactor seems to be on now. We just need to head back up, and we need to see what's going on, and then activate the core. Um, as I said, this is just an alpha core, just to power up uh, the lighting system and stuff, and we're going to need maybe a bigger one to power up the shipyard, which I'm actually working on at the moment. I might give you guys a sneak peek of it, so I'm going to head back up here, and hopefully there won't be any kind of a disaster with anything, and yeah, I'm going to check back in with you guys in a few minutes. So guys, the Constructobot's little uh, emergency exit from the core room took us miles, it just planted us miles away from the, uh, you know, 
from our actual mission control site to, you know, walk all the way back. And, I, you know, I'm tired and I'm cold and it's not nice out. So I'm really going to have to have a little talk with those constructor bots, uh, try and get them to work a bit better. I might threaten, you know, to melt them down and use their, use their metal parts for my new swords. But, you know, I'm not going to do that, but I will threaten them, I think. So with everything done, guys, this is the moment. Uh, we just have to activate the reactor now. We have to go back up to the command room. And let me see, where is the, there we go. So the button is still there. I'm going to have to take that out so no one can get in. Uh, th that would be a disaster if people got in here. They could just, uh, they could initiate, a, you know, a nuclear meltdown or something. So this is the moment of truth, guys. The reactor activation switch. Let's see if this works. I hope to God Construct Bots did a good job. So the light seems to have gone off, but c can we? Is it? It is. It's working. Our reactor is powered, guys. That's it. We have nuclear power. Let's let's go in. I think I can see lights already over there. Her power seems to be back up, and we seem to have, uh, you know, power now, renewable power that we can we can use instead of using torches and stuff. Let's have a little look and see if our lighting our lighting is. Oh my God! Look look at this. It's so bright. So much better. Um, they really did. I'm gonna have to applaud them. I won't melt them down. I'll give them all a clap in the back. Uh, once they've reactivated from their charging period. I mean, look over here. We have our and oh. Hello, what's what's this? We can't seem to go beyond here. What is this? This must be the vault. I know I told you guys in earlier episodes we were working on a top secret vault and, and I got some of my best constructor bot engineers to work in it. So you know no uh, no villagers or assassins or anything could break in and take our precious stuff, which we just have lying over here in a corner. But they seem to be doing a good job. They have it as a restricted area at the moment. Um it seems to be some kind of a four by four double doored kind of vault door or something i i don't know but we're gonna have to have a look at that later maybe in another episode so um we're just gonna head up top now and see if there's anything else going on um i don't really think there is and oh this is so slow i'm gonna have to replace this with something else definitely and there we go so we're up top let's head out here and we seem to have uh there's a bit of construction going on on our shipyard over here so that's that's really it there seems to be nothing more really going on so uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed we're still in our hazard suit <laughs> in case we get radiated or anything so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of spacecraft i will have another one coming out very very soon as i said make sure to like comment favor and subscribe it really helps this series so so much guys um so yeah till next time this has been mr legacy and i'll see you all on the dark side